What's going on everyone? It's your boy Luigi G. I know it's been a minute since I posted on the video on YouTube any videos so what I'm gonna do right now is pretty much just get to that unboxing video I mentioned a couple months back unfortunately we still haven't installed the turbo kit as you can see it's just been laying here in my office I know it's already unboxed so no one has to be like hey guys it's not it's already unboxed bro you know? okay but I still gotta get the things out of the box and you know put them in order so you guys can see what all comes with the box I mean with the kit so just bear with me what I'm gonna do right now is just put this apart and um, yeah just pretty much let you guys see what comes with this kit um, in regards to the kit mine specifically is the PRL stage 2 um, for the 9th gen civics so pretty excited about this so just gonna unbox this real quick and I'll be right back this is the little checklist they send out with the kit um, looks like it was like printed out in like landscape form, they just cut it in half. Uh, so just real quick, just to let you guys check it out. They do do a checklist, it's kind of good for the customer to check through everything, of course. Alright, so as y'all can see, it took a little minute actually, I didn't expect it. Um, so the kit was split up in two boxes. One box right there and then the other one right here. Whatever came in this box is all over here. Which is, uh, looks like, like intercooler piping, the flange and heat wrap and all that good stuff. So I'm going to just do a quick scan. I, I, I didn't even do all of it, I got kind of... But with a bubble wrap, they wrapped it really good, so that's why I didn't even open it all. But um, uh, one thing I guess the map. If you guys ever purchased this kit, they put the map sensor, the map sensor inside one of these uh, couplings. Um, so keep an eye out for that because initially when I got it, I did a quick check of the boxes without unwrapping them and couldn't find the map sensor. So it's like WTF, night, you know what I'm saying? So we just got fittings, um, sensors, couplings, heat shield. Where's the heat wrap? Here, this heat wrap. They give you a nice little bit of heat wrap. Um, and the intercooler. I didn't even take that out of the box. Just keep it in there nicely for when it's ready for install. Here's the other box. Here, everything that came in here was just, uh, I'll put the brightness up a little bit here. It's dark. So, the injectors. Uh, I believe it's the 1000cc ID injectors, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta upgrade, man. Oh, well, um, uh, let's see what else. What is this? A bunch of hose, hose to work with. A bunch of hose. <laughs> the blow up valve. Um, I guess this would be the pipe, the down pipe. Is that even what it's called? Sorry for sounding like a noob, guys. I mean, this is my first turbo kit. And the most important part. The little snail. The little snail. I believe this is a GT. Oh, it's right here. GT3076. I don't know the rest. You guys can read that. So it should be a pretty good kit. Up to uh, the kit itself should have the potential to about maybe 500. I'm not going to go all the way up there, but I'm probably going to start at low PSI and work my way up 
Uh, what else? Oh, additionally, I got the clutch too. The competition clutch and flywheel. And, oh, right over there in this long box here. I'm pretty sure this is the intercooler mount bar. And that's pretty much it. This is the whole kit, guys. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. Um, obviously, it's not installed yet. I'm still on the indecisive whether to do uh, do it myself or take it to the shop. For, for all the do-it-yourself, guys, if you guys have done any of these kits in the 8th gen or 9th, well, actually, actually, I have seen an 8th gen one, but I'd like to see a 9th gen or maybe some tips in particular to the 9th gen um, platform. But yeah, I don't know. I'll put a video up once it's installed. And obviously, if I end up doing it myself with my buddies, I'll be posting that as well. But I don't see that happening. This is a big kit. I'm not make, too mechanically inclined. I mean, I've done all my bolt-ons, but... This is probably another thing because we have to drop the subframe and trans and stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty much it, guys. I mean, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, whatever. I'm going to try to stay active in the channel, see what we could do with the build. Um, actually, after here, I'm probably going to do another little video of my tire setup that I did for the turbo kit. Due to traction issues, I'm going to be running into most likely. So check that out if you're interested. See you next time.